What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Battles 2 video. For today's video we're going to be showcasing the Banana Farm which is the 4th tier Banana Research Facility. So for that being said guys we're going to try to see if we could probably just go for a factory in game because a lot of people know that farm it's kind of a little bit better just to farm as well but some people were saying it was bad but this time Farm could be a little bit of a meta as well. So if you guys want to see more like this, like if you want to learn something for like whatever the case, if you want to try out the banana farm strategies, let me know and I might be down to like do some other good old strategies like farm strategies or something like that as well. Um, so anyway, if you guys are new here to my channel, make sure you subscribe and also make sure you drop a like on the video. By the way guys, 72% of you guys are not actually subscribed. So if you guys are new here once again, Feel free to subscribe, it's always free, and make sure you like the video, it's free as well. Anyway, since we're more up it, by the way, I have 64 trophies by the way, so we're going to hop into some Moab pit, um, and we're going to try to go for a factory as we can though, because the fact that I tried to farm for some reason, because I went for the late factory, which is kind of a little bit hard for me just to... Um, just to take a heads up because I try to farm like as hard as I can because a lot of people decide to like rush me like a like a dumb rush like Boaz, Fortify Boabs or whatever the rush they did. It was not the thing man. So once again, we're going to try and see how many factories are we going to be doing it. But unfortunately, I might not go for a factory like early because I know for me I try to go for it early as possible but somehow I always go for a factory very very late though, like let's just say round 20 or round 21, I'm not too sure what round, but we're just gonna give it a try and see, hopefully that might be a little bit of it, okay? Uh, but yeah, anyway, so we're playing against this guy named Shadow Star X. so good luck, have fun, he has a ZOMG Superdome badge by the way, so unfortunately he is pretty good at this game though, and also he has the ninja profile skin, because if you don't know what that means, he has the ninja mastery, so... For that being said, I'm trying to see if we could probably just like probably gonna win the game against it because I know my opponent might be very very good. Um, unfortunately, if my opponent decides to go for a darling sniper ninja, which is the meta, it will be abusing. So I'm not gonna follow with that as well. So anyway, um, so I like to start out by sending some space blues just to take the pressure because for now on we have the time just to um just to send him some space blues instead. Uh, because I don't know how to play farm unfortunately because I tried to go for a factory even though I was trying to go for a factory like a little bit, a bit early I always go for a factory late so I don't know even know how to play it but I know for me some farm players they rather um, they rather play so well with farms and I don't know how to because yeah I just have to get better at, at farming or maybe so I need to start learning stuff for farm because I wanted to farm very very hard just try to uh, try to get farm super duper early but yeah so I'm going to fit the farm down here because I wanted to fit that spot which is the perfect spot that I'm going to be placing and then later on we're going to go for the fast or barrel spin if we could probably just have enough money we need one more banana off the back come on all right there we go um which one is yellow okay yellow is the F okay and I'm not too sure how to play it though because I think we need to be really careful not to end up taking a lot of leaks here because right now I only pulled out the Darn Gunner up to uh, 1, 2 upgrade and 0 as well because I know the upgrade was the fact that I was going to try to upgrade it for the farm. But yeah. Alright. So for that being said, I'm going to continue sending some um, group yellows or something just to make sure if we have enough like plenty of certain amount of monies here. And for now on, if he does send me wise, then we could probably just go for another Darn Gunner instead. So for that being said, we're going to go for another one. Hopefully, we could probably go for the Plantation very, very soon. But for now on, we need to try to go for um, for another Darn Gunner, just in case if there's any white rushes or something. But we could probably just get the heads up with instead. Alright, so... For now on, I'm going for the powerful dodge, which is the bottom path and then the middle path. Because the bottom path and the middle path will be very, very better though. If you wanted to like um, upgrade it to the max or whatever. If you want to upgrade to the powerful dodge, plus the faster battle spin, it'll easily to the handle it as well with whites. You'll be fine with it though. Or some greens as well, like my opponent sent me some greens, which is the, 
very very proud of my beagle that he is sending me one but yeah so for now on guys um since we're not going for the plantation because right now it is 3k per money i'm probably gonna be going for another farm which is the second farm that i'm going to be placing um so let's fit that far right now so hopefully we could probably just go for a factory anytime if we can because i want to try to go for a factory as we can though i mean if we go for a late factory then i guess that's the rip man i guess that's the point um so for now on hmm i'm not too sure because i think my opponent is probably gonna be going ice village and tack because i could tell you paul is the tax shooter in the beginning though so I'm suggesting that he will rush me probably like a 4-5 or five Moabs or more, but we'll have to see how good this is. So right now, while let's put on an Ocean Ore right now. Uh, oh god, looks like Ocean Open is going to be fine with it, but we're good with it, guys. We're good with it. Um, I don't know why I stopped sending some white space wise. I was about to send like a little bit of group, um, group blacks plus white over the top, but yeah. Alright, so he's continuing sending me eco with some yellow, so he should be okay with that. So I'm pretty sure we could probably just stick with four farms. Maybe we could probably just go for our last farm, and then after that, maybe we can um, fit another farm very, very easily, though. Um, I just have to fit one more. I don't think you could fit more. Can I? Oh, no, I can't fit more. Okay, I'm going to fit that spot right down here. So that will be quite okay for me. Um, and yeah, he's still continuing to send me some yellows. I don't know why he's sending me so many yellows though. But unfortunately, he is still ecoing at some point because he's going tack. So that will be quite okay. Oh, he's got a motor. Ooh, good luck. Have fun with the motor, brah. This should be a good one for him. Alright, so we got four farms, by the way. So I'm feeling he's probably going to be going for the single flare, which is the bottom tier upgrade that he's going to go for. So, that is a well play against him. Um, anyway, since we got a Hydro Rocket Pod, I'm going to try to go for a lot of plantations if we can't. And then later on, we're probably going to be going for the plantation. And then we're going to go for a facility probably in the next few rounds, of course. Hopefully, we could probably just still go for the facility. That'll be quite okay, though. Just saying. Also, by the way, it sucks because you need to collect the farms with your mouse or whatever because... If NK Rider added farmers in Battles 2, that would be quite good because I wanted to see how um, how NK will add farmers in Battles 2 because I know farmers could be helpful by collecting those banana farms, which is very, very goodly though. I just wanted to try out how good that banana farm is going to be outlasted, but we'll see how this is going to work out. Um, oh, he's got Druid. Ooh, it looks like my opponent's probably going to be going for the Druid farm. There's a lot of farming that if you wanted to go for. Like, there's sniper farming, there's banana farms, there's druid like this guy is using right now. There's a lot of farming that you wanted to farm to, to get more money in the back though. Speaking of that, I might try druid if I wanted to grind off druid as well. Because I know some people were saying druid could be a little bit a bit better though. But we'll see because I know there's like a ton of people that doesn't agree with people using druids or something. But I don't even know if druid would be better than farm. I'm not too sure. But let me know what you guys think about the Druid, and I'm not just sure how to play that Druid game. Because I think the Druid one, you need to upgrade it to the middle path only to just to, you know, just to Druid farm. So that way you could probably just like, easily just Druid farm easily though, but yeah. Alright, so anyway, so I'm just going to keep on equaling for a little bit though. But for now on, we got to watch out for the Moas, because if you send me like a one Moab, we could probably just follow the Super Monkey, just in case if you send me like a Moab. Hopefully, we should be a little bit, a bit fine with that. Um, but yeah, we're going to pull out the Super Monkey anytime sooner. But for now on, I'm going to keep on ecoing just a little bit though. Just to try to um, just to try to get a little bit of money in the back though. I mean, if we don't have enough though, just to go for the Rocket Storm, just to defend the Moab though. Then we have to like rebuy and sell the Rocket Storm. I'm probably going to go for the Super Monkey instead. Maybe I could go for the bottom path just to slow the little bit of Moab down for a little bit. That would be quite fun because I want to try to like, you know, get this heads up. Hopefully that might be a little bit okay for me. Alright, so looks like my opponent is going to be spamming a couple more druids though. He's going to get like four tons of farming druids. So he's going to keep on getting like a couple more druids in the back. Um, so if he does rush me, then we need to, um, 
We need to try to defend it though, but yeah. Okay, so right now we have 1,300 eco or more, so we could probably just keep on ecoing until we can go for the facility. I know I always go for the late facility because I keep getting rushed by the opponent that's sending me with some fortified MOABs. Uh, what else? Um, or any case if my opponent sending me a lot of MOABs instead, but it's not that hard. Like, if i rather get rushed, then I decide to, like, just do some, a little bit of math here. Like, let's just say if I need to, like, get up to a factory or whatever, that will be quite good for that. Okay, anyway. Oh, that was a perfect timing, though. I don't know why he's sending me a fortify. Uh, let's get this up to strong. He's sending me one. I don't know why he's doing that to me. But right now, we're going to tower boost it right now. Are we going to defend it though? No, nope, we're not going to defend it. Uh, oh god, are we good? Oh no, I think I'm dead actually. I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm not dead, oh my god. Dude, what the heck? <laughs> bro, my opponent's draining me, dude. What are you doing, bro? Oh my god. Dude, he's sending me an annoying rush, like... Get out of here, dude. Now I got a factory, you bot. <laughs> Let's go. We got a factory. Dude, why is my opponent sending me like a dumb rush? What the heck? Bro, get out of here, dude. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? Alright, since we got a factory, by the way, because my opponent sent me like an annoying rush, like a dumb rush, we could probably just keep on farming instead. Also, we could eco as well. Hopefully, we should be a little bit a bit okay for me. So yeah, we got this in the back, guys. But dude, that rush was so dumb. Like, get at absolutely wrecked, man. I don't know why he just sent me like an annoying rush. But again, that rush didn't work, my friend. That rush didn't work, man. Alright, anyway. For now on, I'm gonna keep on building more Super Monkeys just in case. Because right now, I need to place out another Dark Gunner up here. Just in case, if there's any balloons, like ceramics coming by, like... Near to the end, I could probably just rocket storm it on top. Hopefully, we'll be fine with it though. But that would be quite sick because I just have to go for the for the for the rocket storm on top just to, just to make sure if my opponent decides to like whatever the rush he's sending me, I have to like try to keep it on though. But yeah, so we could probably just go for a second factory right now. Hopefully, we could easily go for the factory. I mean, I'm not too sure because. <laughs> This guy, I have no clue why he just did that, but yeah. So it looks like my opponent's going for a lot of druid spam because he's doing the druid farming. So yeah, he's collecting a lot of druid money, so nice. Um, right now, we could go for another second facility. Let's go for a second one. Let's go. We got a second facility in the back though. Oh, you're kidding me right now. He just sent me a ZOMG. You're kidding me right now. Alright, so we're probably gonna have to defend it though, because my opponent just sent me like annoying dumb rush. So I don't know why he's just sending me annoying rush, which is starting to get annoying though. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna keep on face pawning this guy because my opponent is playing like a bot. I don't know what is up with this guy. But we could probably just like keep on building super monkeys just, to, just in case though. But yeah. Um, hopefully we don't die to this. We can possibly just do another rock storm ability, so hopefully that might be a little bit, a bit okay. Uh, but I don't think we can, so unfortunately, we need to tower boost it. And let's go. Let's go. Easy defend, though. I don't know why my opponent just sent me a rush. I don't know why he sent me, like, a rush, but... I don't know what is my guy doing, but... <laughs> dude, I don't know what the heck is my guy doing, but... He just sent me a fortified ZOMGs, and we still defend it with Super Monkey Darlings. Like... Bruh, dude. This is why I hate when people start sending me like a dumb rush, which is so annoying, man. Alright, anyway. For now on, um... We're gonna try to uh, go for a banana research again, because I know I'm trying to go for another banana research instead. Hopefully, we could probably just go for it, but... <laughs> we'll have to see how good this is. Um... Let's go for, uh, let's just keep on going for another research. Let's go. Let's go for a third factory. That's the only way that we're going to be playing off. So let's get it. Um, so let's just eco a little bit though. I'm not too sure if ecoing is the play. If you rather go for a farm or not. But I'm pretty sure if you rather have eco as much as you can. You could probably just, just you know, 
Just eco and then you could probably just farm heavily though. I mean, if you have like enough money just to save up, you could probably just do so. That would be quite fun. Uh, for now on, I think we're going to go for another Hydro Rocket Pods on top just to make sure if we could probably just still afford the Rocket Storm. If we need to use the Rocket Storm ability just to keep the Ceramics away from it, that will be quite good with it. So, I don't even know if my opponent will send me like a Fortify All Out DDTs because if he does send me a Fortify All Out, then we could probably just still spam a couple more Super Monkeys in the back. Like, let's just say get like a ton of Dark Knight spams and hopefully we'll defend it the... We'll try to defend it the all out. That will be quite very, very good goodly here. Alright, anyway. For now on, um, we're going to keep on farming right now. And round 30 will be coming soon, so I have to try to send him like a rush as well. Because he's keep on, he just keep on like getting a lot of druid farming. So I don't know how he's getting a lot of druid farms, but yeah. So yeah, he's pretty good at this game though, so I'm not too sure how good my opponent has because I think my opponent has the bottom tier for the motor, which is the fourth tier actually. I think that's the fourth tier. Yeah, I think I could be correct though, but we'll have to see though. Alright, anyway, I'm not too sure if you'll send me with some... Oh, he's got Avatar Wrath. Oh, well done against him. Okay, so the problem is for him, he might be dead to some... I don't know the fortified BADs might be do the trick here. So if he does send me a fortified uh, BADs or whatever that we need to um that we have to try to defend it with without it. If not, we cannot defend it, that we need to stall it. That way we need to like, you know, able to defend it the his rush or something. But yeah. But for now on, I think we're gonna probably just save up to go for the fortified BADs. So, let's do that right now. Let's collect all these crates. And he is definitely need to defend the, you know, the fortified BADs. So, let's do that right now. Blue boost it. Come on, blue boost it. There you go. And he's going to keep on getting a lot of them, though. So, unfortunately, I think my opponent, he is probably not going to defend, though. He's going to use the tower boost. Oh, wait. He actually defended, though, actually. Oh, this is not good. Uh, let's go for another Dark Knight. I think he is going to defend, actually, so I'm not too sure if this will be the play or not. Um, but for now on, I think he is definitely going to be going down because I don't think the Druid, even though the Avatar Wrath, is not going to do anything. So I think we're going to all out him with some Fortify. So let's do that right now because he has no Tower Boost and he goes down. Let's go. GG's only against this guy. Shadow Star Axe. Very, very good game, though. Even though you sent me, like, a dumb rush. Yeah, that was not a play there, but still. That is a good game against him. I'm not trying to be a little bit of being meanie. But again, it was such a good game as well. But dude, Banana Farms is very, very good though. I got like, I think five factories in the back. But yo, that was such an intense though. I'm not capping, man. But yeah. Alright guys, I think we're about to end the video here. I know it's like a little bit of a short video. I'm not too sure how long I've been recording for. Um, almost 20 minutes actually, so, nice. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. By the way, I might do another farm video. Like, I'm gonna try going for the IMF loan, which is the BIA one, because I know I was gonna try to, um, I was gonna try to unlock this tower first, and then the next one, I might go for the central market instead. So, I'll try to see if we could probably just, um, Probably just gonna unlock it off camera and see if I could like unlock it though because I heard this one's gonna be way better though. If not, it might be the facility in the back, but we'll have to see. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys have not sub, subscribe and make sure you click the like button if you enjoyed it because it's always free as well. So anyway, I'll catch you guys in as part of the video. Peace everybody.